You go to this one, and I think this is the only time you see him with his top off. And I can't remember if that's the exact shot, but maybe. I mean, there to me, he just looks like... Time of the Lord A-Hole here. Thank you for joining me as always. And as you've seen from the title of the video, today we are going to talk about Tom Hardy. We are going to go 10 years in the past and ask the big question, Tom Hardy in The Dark Knight Rises, where he played Bane, fat or jacked? Now, this sounds like a very mean thing to do, but it's not. Tom Hardy recently did an interview with the BBC where he was asked about such things. And he basically said, well, actually, let me level with you. It's not really what you first thought. Because the man said, if you really study the photographs, I was really overweight, actually. I ate a lot and I wasn't much heavier than I am now. I just ate more pizza. We look closely. We really study the photographs. Uh, I, I was really overweight, actually. I ate a lot and, you know, I, I was not much heavier than I am now but i just ate more pizza they shoot you from low to make you look big wwe does this as well people would lift up the lids on their motorbike helmets and say i always thought you were bigger mate which seems very unfair but that's the world we live in i was just bald slightly porky with pencil arms that's the magic of lighting and three or four months of lifting and training and eating lots of pizza it wasn't great for my heart what's the most important muscle in the body your heart that's right we say it together the point was just to look as big as possible i actually have really skinny legs and my friend jacob my stuntman like to say, why did Tom come in riding an emu? Play the role Hardy packed on Tombstone, as has previously said that making all these drastic changes to his body has taken its toll, and then he goes into the fact that, yeah, when you're younger, you can do it, but when you get into 40s, you need to protect yourself a little bit. Now, this is kind of fascinating for two reasons. One, if you don't go through a lot of these pictures, which we'll do in just one second, you would never know that this is how he saw himself, but also, two, always remember, I don't want to repeat the video we did from a couple of days ago, but always remember that when you see anybody in a celebrity movie, don't know what that means, but when they're in good shape, take it with a pinch of salt. They have hundreds of people working with them in order for them to look super duper good, right? And then when they don't have to look super duper good, they probably don't look super duper good anymore. I mean, in that article, in the interview, I should say, Hardy even said, you know, for the rest of the shoot, I couldn't even train properly, so I was up and down, left, right. Why do you think The Rock flies his gym around, the Iron Paradise? Because his money in his body and his body in his money, so he has to work out all the time. He has to make sure he has the right equipment and the right facilities so yeah he just what i don't know clips it to a helicopter and fiow, away it goes but if we do go through some of these pictures i mean this is an interesting one because obviously he's wearing a bulletproof vest or a flap jacket whatever you want to call it there but you can see the way that they've lit it and the way they've shadowed his arms, he does look, I wouldn't say he looks like a massive dude. And that kind of comes down to something as well. Don't forget our perception, people that have started working out and do have illusions of grandeur, see people differently to how people that aren't doing that see them. That was gibberish. For example, take a website like the TMZ or the Daily Mail. Sometimes they'll have, oh my gosh, look at these amazing biceps on this person that we caught when they were on the beach. And you look at them and you can tell they work out, but they don't look like super jack good dudes. Because again, how... I don't want to say normal people, because that's ridiculous. But people that aren't super into muscles, see muscles, is vastly different to how we see muscles. I don't think I've made my point there at all. But the point is, there, well lit, exactly like Tom Hardy said. You go to this one, and this is the only time you see him with his top off. And I can't remember if that's the exact shot, but maybe. I mean, there to me, he just looks like... <laughs> He's, he looks, he's just jacked as far as I'm concerned. But we have sort of the frame has cut off his stomach. So maybe he was a little fatter than we realized. I mean, that one, he's wearing a coat, so it doesn't matter. I remember this one from the promotional posters because I looked at all of those posters. And again, incredibly well lit. And you could probably look like that as well, which is why I say to everybody, if you are struggling with things you see on social media or in the movies, book yourself in, get in the shape that you're happy with, and then book yourself in for a session, a photograph session, and you will see they'll do it to you as well. And it will make you feel warm and fuzzy in your tum-tum, which is great. But it will also hopefully give you more awareness about the nonsense that's going on out there. So here's that other picture that we just talked about, full stretch. And if we zoom in, which is a weird thing to do. I mean, you can see the semblance of abs there, but they have pulled his trousers up quite a lot. So maybe that's true. But even still, if that's what Tom Hardy looks like when he's just been eating pizza, I mean, I wouldn't look like that if I was eating pizza. I would just look like a fat mess. I don't think anybody would describe that as a fat mess. I know straight away in the comments you're going, PDs, PDs. Maybe it wasn't PDs, maybe it wasn't in PDs. Again, we've already discussed this. It doesn't matter. If you don't even walk down that pathway, you don't have to beat yourself over the head with a stick. This is the one that I want to finish on because when Bane was first announced, it was this picture that kind of did the rounds. I know I got into it. Because from there, you could probably tell someone, oh my gosh, Tom Hardy has got in such good shape. He looks like a professional bodybuilder. Like his back looks absolutely humongous. But we already know that if he stepped onto a bodybuilding stage with the other stuff that we've seen, he wouldn't be able to compete at all. So 
it's an illusion. It's there to sell you the idea that Tom Hardy is now Bane that you know from the comics or Batman Forever with that dude who was absolutely massive. I will say without any doubt, I was on stuff. There's just no two ways about it. It's not natural. And if it's not natural, it has to be supernatural. But also to give it the idea that when Bane and Batman have a fight, Bane is a physical specimen, which is why he's able to break Batman's back. That's all this is. And of course, there's going to be dubious means how he got there. But the reason I really like Tom Hardy is because he comes out and he tells you. If you turn the lights on in that picture, you'd probably see him with some dominoes. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's got in his hand. Like, got cheese and tomato pizza. But he wouldn't look how you perceive him to look. And that's all a movie is. Again, it's magic. It's perception. It's about what they want you to take away from the characters. And I'm not saying that people don't need to be more transparent. They do. But that's why I like Tom Hardy, because nine times out of ten, he just just come out and say, you know what? This was happening. And he can't do that all the time because he can accidentally put somebody else in it. Like if he said, oh, man, I went on all the drugs for this. All of a sudden, you're going to go, well, if he's doing it, you know, all these other guys are doing it as well. So, of course, there's going to be some kind of force barrier. And it's kind of like what I've talked about before. You're going to have to excuse the cheap plug here, but it's true. As you may know, I'm a affiliated with Gorilla Mind, which is more plates, more dates, Derek's company. And the reason that came about is because I did a video about his uh, non-stim pre-workout, just because I was like, oh, well, I like non-stim pre-workout. Let's see how good it is. And I enjoyed it so much, he got in touch with me and he said, let us work together. But I will look down the barrel of this and tell you right now, do you need supplements? Let's say your finances aren't great. Do you need supplements to get in shape? No. You need to go to the gym, you need to train hard, you need to have a good diet, and you need to make sure that you're recovering. Are supplements going to help you? Yes. Will they make the gym more fun absolutely but i am able to be honest and transparent with you because what do i have to lose and even then i would say if you want to go oh, well, i'm 100 sure what you're saying is true that's a good way to be and it's the same with this have a look at something and if it makes you feel a little bit like uh, just don't do it or go and research it, or go and read what other people are saying and make sure you come up with your own opinion the greatest thing i've seen recently is the video with the rock that i've talked about way too much when he goes into his calories and i've seen so many people going i don't think the rock does eat that much i'm not going to increase increase my calories because I'm not the rock and that's what you've got to do and if more people spoke like Tom Hardy it'd probably make it a lot easier we probably could get there one day all it takes is one person in the stack of cards all of a sudden comes tumbling down I think the real shame is that I imagine a lot of them at least when they get into their 50s are probably going on testosterone replacement therapy and that's something that should be normalized too like if you've got a bad leg you fix your leg if you've got a bad heart you fix your heart if all of a sudden you're getting older and you're feeling tired and a bit weak and you know having whatever the protocol would be is going to make you feel better that's what you should go and look into but it's not it's like oh you steroided mother hubbard it's like when people first went on on creative but if you're just going back to normal doses anyway one time in the future i'm sure somebody will talk about it and then we'll have a very different different discussion but i would highly advise going to watch or read this interview as ever tom hardy is a very well, he's an honest dude, like I've already said. But also, he came up with the Bane voice, which is also controversial. I think the Bane voice is great. I'm not going to try and do an impression because I can't do it. It's basically the entire time. But it was so weird. And if you've ever seen the original cut, which I did because I deliberately went to Mission Impossible in the IMAX because they had a clip from Batman uh, The Dark Knight. So I said, well, I've got to go and see that. It's inaudible. And I would have kept it. I mean, it would not have done anything good if you were a mainstream uh, cinema goer. But as a Batman fan, I was like, man, he comes across like the most flubbed up person ever. But as usual, we had to make it appeal to everyone. So there you go. Use this in all walks of life going forward. You've probably looked at that. I'm sure at least one person has said, oh, man, I'd love to look like Tom Hardy. But according to him, and again... He may just be being a little bit down on himself because he is just a human being too. I mean, how many times have you thought you were in bad shape and someone has gone, oh, actually, you look great. And you're like, what? I don't understand this at all. And then usually what happens is a few days later, you look in the mirror, you have that confidence. You do go, oh, I do look quite good. And then you cheat on your diet for two days. Hands up if you've done that. You've been quite impressed with what's staring back at you. So you go, well, I've done it. Surely now I deserve to eat what I want. And then 48 hours later, you look again, and you go, nope. I shouldn't have done it, but don't worry about that either because it's just water weight, which is also something that people do in the movie. They just chug and chug water. Not all that Henry Cavill nonsense when he said he didn't drink water for three days before The Witcher. That's a mass exaggeration. I have no doubt that he water cycled to a certain degree, but did he just not drink in <laughs> three days? No, he did not. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell. Ding, ding. So now other videos are going live. There is another video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Leave a comment below. Write whatever you want. It's all for the algorithm. Again, subscribing and comments and liking. If you could do all those three things, you'll help the channel. And that's what it's all about. Again, already mentioned it. Affiliated with Grilla Mind. Go to GrillaMind.com. Use code Simon or go to GrillaMind.com. Forward slash Simon. Do both of those things. Get 10% off. I use these supplements. I've already gone through it with you. And again, if you go down to the description too, a link to Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook, which I'm in. If you're looking for 
for a sustainable diet where you can actually eat nice food as opposed to chicken, rice, broccoli all the damn time. Cameo is in there if you like a cameo from me, which is always... Well, it's a privilege to do those, to be honest, because I can't believe I'm even allowed to do them to begin with. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Simon316. My patrons in there, if you want to support with money. That's essentially what it is. And I got merchandise too, which is the same thing. But genuinely, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. See you soon.